Good day. Today we will be talking about the annual solar eclipse of the 14th October 2023. You see, I have already written an article on the planetary positions on the 13th October. They are most venomous and explosive and they can prove like a bolt from the blue. It is not only for the stock and financial markets, it is as a whole. If you compare the planetary positions of the 14th October 2023, the solar eclipse, it is something parallel to the 9-11 twin tower attack. The combinations were Mars and Ketu conjunction. Mars was at 7 degrees. In Sagittarius, now Mars is at 7 degrees with Ketu in Libra. Jupiter and Rahu were afflicted. Here Jupiter and Rahu are badly afflicted because Jupiter is with Rahu, Mars is also aspecting and Saturn is also aspecting. And then the worst part is that the Rahu demon is in adverse motion and stationary for so many days. And when it is stationary, it pierces and creates a curtain for our minds. So we are not able to take proper decisions and the whole world, the politicians, etc. will not be able to decide properly because those, especially those people who have moon also afflicted and with Rahu or Ketu. So those people will take adverse decisions and those adverse decisions will be a bolt from the blue. Now, <clears throat> the ascendant rising at the time of the eclipse is Gemini and Gemini is allotted to US by Varaha Mira. And when there is aspect of Saturn on Jupiter for Gemini Lagna, then Jupiter becomes a first class mark because he is the 7th Lord and Saturn is the 8th Lord. So Jupiter becomes the mark and Jupiter is afflicted badly by Mars, Saturn and Rahu. So what will happen? The economy will break and this eclipse is taking very very close to the Saturn placed in the second house of US. Ken Rauji has taken a Leo Lagna for US 4th July 19th, uh, 1776 20, 20 30 hours. So the, it is Leo ascendant and some people are taking Scorpio ascendant there is no viability on that. And the Saturn place in the second house in the star of Chitra and the eclipse is taking in Chitra which is a Ketu Grasth Surya Grand and that too also falling on Saturday. So it is going to affect the US and it is visible in North America, South America, Canada, Mexico and near about countries. So since the planetary positions are parallel to on the 14th October like the twin tower terrorist attack, the terrorist groups will be in an aggressive stance throughout the world. And then on the 29th, I have already mentioned that those combinations are parallel to the 24th October 1929. So, so October goes for a toss. Whether my predictions become true or not, what I am bothered is that since astrology is replicable and whatever happens in the past, it is repeated. So on the basis of that, stock market may be uh, taking a hit because of some consequential effects. Supposing something happens, something big happens or the oil prices go up or the, there is war. Now there is an, 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 another attack on some any other country. So it will have a repercussion on the stock and financial markets and especially for US and Asian markets and India also. So friends, this is all I just wanted to share. 
the eclipse especially in the month of October are deadly for Joe Biden as I've already mentioned because it is taking place in the 17 axis of Mars in the place in the sign Libra and then what do you call uh, for Kamala Harris it is taking place over the sun and moon sun and moon in the 17 axis of sun and moon so her position will also be influenced she will have new assignments so this is all friends i just wanted to share that uh, even the eclipse of 14th october is not a very good one and it can prove a bolt from the blue it can you see friday can be a black friday saturday can be a black saturday and even monday can be a black monday so friends this is all i just wanted to share some people have said my predictions are not correct because the market did not uh, have a break today but look friends you only read the headings you don't read my articles on my website you don't bother about the dates just start commenting you see i can be wrong i can definitely i don't say that i can be i am god and whatever i predict will become true but the possibility of the things i only work on the possibility of the things and this is what is possible let's see what happens you will see for yourself nothing will be uh, hidden after the uh, this coming monday if no, uh, nothing happens because uh, in the evening mars will change its nakshatra in the evening so the major effect will come in the evening maybe but uh, rahu is in stationary motion in the morning so let us see what happens if something happens in the morning tomorrow or something happens may may, may not happen in the evening because mars will change at 1800 hours so <clears throat> so this is all you see i need not go into so much details only if you want details you can consult me i can't put everything on the paper because there are so many soldiers who will copy me and mislead the other uh, people in the youtube which is just like a fish market so this is all friends i just wanted to share thank you very much for listening to me have a good day good luck bye bye